Welcome, Mighty Companion. Welcome to A Course in Miracles here on Facebook Live. I'm Earl Purdy, and we're going to learn how to allow ourselves to have the love and the miracles and expressions of love and happiness and abundance that is our divine right. We're talking about the attainment of the real world, the world full of love, the world full of peace. How do we do that? I'm Earl Purdy here on Facebook Live, and we are going to see how to do that today. So let's listen to a little music here. And then I'm gonna get into it right after this. I gotta, I gotta have a little music. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not A Course in Miracles with Earl Raj Purdy. I'm going to take these 40 years that I've been totally obsessed with the Course in Miracles and experience miracles beyond my wildest imagination. And I want to be helpful to anybody else that wants to let go of anger, grievances, and guilt and the past because you are tired of it kicking yo. I'm not a victim of the North, I'm not a victim of the South. think about that for a second. I am not a victim of the world I see. I am not a victim. I am not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. You know, right before I got ready to do this, hey, mighty companion, <laughs> It feels so good to be here with you all. 
I'm so thankful for you that I can't even put it into words. I have such a profound sense of gratitude and appreciation for you because it feels good to know that I'm not the only one that thinks weird. I really want love. I really want to be safe. I don't really want to blame people and project on people and act like somebody's hurting me or doing something to me. So when I'm with you, I get a chance to join with someone else who also wants the peace of God, the peace of, 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 of real love. I know I'm not the only one that's tired of the insanity and the fear that I see in what seems to be this world. And the Course of Miracles taught me, because I've been obsessed with the Course of Miracles for 40 years, and I've been teaching the Course of Miracles full time for 32 years. And the one thing that really sticks out to me is that Jesus of the Course in Miracles says, the purpose of a relationship is to save you time, to help you get to love faster. The purpose of a relationship is to help you get to what you want faster, peace freedom, and love. And, and the Course in Miracles uh, promised me that if I wanted to go in the direction of love and peace, that the way you could tell if you were really obeying God is that you would not be doing it alone. That a sure sign of being on a true spiritual path is that you are not alone and you are not trying to do it alone. You have equals with you and you are my equals. A Course in Miracles describes um, a brother as not a man. We're not talking about gender. It's talking about and equal because the Course in Miracles has its own definitions, even though it uses uh, Christian terminology. A, a Course in Miracles is really talking about universal spiritual themes. So basically, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here on this journey with me and valuing my classes and lectures. It really means a lot. So we're going to be in chapter 13, the guiltless world, the guiltless world. And we're going to be in section seven, the attainment of the real. We're going to be in section seven, the attainment of the real world on page 257, on page 257 in the Course in Miracles text published by the Foundation for Inner Peace. I use the, that's the, that's, that's uh, the Course in Miracles version that I got introduced to was through the foundation for inner peace. And so page 257, page 257. And, you know, the Holy Spirit, the inner voice of God reminded me today that and of course in miracles is constantly saying read me slowly read me slowly read me slowly and spirit reminded me again this morning said slow slow uh, spirit said to me it doesn't matter how much material you cover what matters is that something that you say is remembered. 
the inner voice said, if a person took one sentence of A Course in Miracles and applied that one idea consistently, it would lead them into all truth, all joy. So it's much more important that a person remembers one thing and uses that one thing than to try to cover a lot of stuff and forget most of it. So, I'm going to start off a little bit differently. I want you to relax. I got two paragraphs that I want to channel and read. Using the Course in Miracles substitutions and definitions of the words. But I, I would like to ask you to just let yourself receive. Let yourself receive. Okay, and I would also like to say, if my classes and what I teach in the Course in Miracles is not something that gives you peace, if it's not something that you accept is true, uh, and you're listening from the perspective of how many flaws you can find or how different what I'm saying is from what you believe. This is my advice to you. Don't put anything I say, any book says, any teacher says, anybody else says over the feelings of your own being. In other words, pay attention and go with what your gut, your inner self, your inner guidance is telling you to do over anything you hear, okay? Okay, here we go. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. Okay. Receive. In me, you have overcome every temptation that would hold you back. Jesus of the Course says, in me you have already overcome every temptation that would hold you back we walk together we walk together we walk together on the way to quietness we walk together we walk together we walk together on the way to quietness quietness is the gift of God. So what is the gift of love? The gift of God is quietness. We walk together. We walk together on the way to quietness. That is the gift of love. We walk together on the way to quietness. That is the gift of love. Hold me. Oh, hold me. Hold me dear, am I clear? Hold me, hold me, hold me dear, hold me dear. But what except your equals can you need? What except each other can we need? Hold me dear, hold love dear, hold love dear. For what except your brothers, what except your equals can you need? You only need your equals. You only need your equals. You only need your equals. Do you hear me, peoples? You only need your equals. You only need your equals. Hang out with your equals. Hang out with your equals. We will restore to you. We will restore to you. We will restore to you the peace of mind. We will restore to you. We will restore to you. We will restore to you peace of mind. So how do you find peace of mind? 
How do you find peace of mind? How do you find peace of mind? You find it together. You find it together. So we have to find peace of mind together. The Holy Spirit will teach you. 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 Love will teach you. What will love do? Love will teach you. What will love do? Love will teach you. Love will teach you what? Love will teach you to awaken unto us. Holy Spirit will teach you to awaken unto us. To awaken unto us. To awaken unto us. To awaken unto us. So, the Holy Spirit, the voice for God is going to teach you. And love is going to teach you to awake unto us and to awake to yourself. So if you're in a truly loving relationship, a truly loving relationship is a relationship that wakes you up to love. So if you're in a real relationship, how can you tell if you're in a real relationship? This is how you can tell. If you're in a real relationship, you will be feeling more and more love. If you're in a real relationship, you're feeling more and more safe. If you're in a real relationship, you're feeling more and more free. If you're in a real relationship, you don't feel guilty and you don't feel afraid. If it's a real relationship, you don't feel guilty in it and you don't feel afraid. If it's a real relationship, you don't feel guilty in it and you don't feel afraid. That's how you can tell. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you. He's going to teach you to wake up. To wake up to us and to wake up to yourself. Do you know it's time for you to wake up to yourself? Do you know that it is time for you to wake up to yourself? Mighty companion, listen, 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 and remember this. You don't need to believe these ideas. I don't care if you believe these ideas. You don't need to believe these ideas, welcome these ideas, like these ideas, agree with these ideas. You don't have to accept it, welcome it, and let's face it, some of it is going to be hard for you to hear. Some of it you won't believe. Some of it is going to sound crazy to you. I may say some things that are different from what you believe. That might mean that's why it would actually work. It's because it is different from what you believe. So what we are, what we're doing right now is we're allowing ourselves to do step one to really getting what the Course in Miracles teaches, which is to hear it, to hear it, to hear it, to hear it. So let's, so the Holy Spirit, your inner teacher, is going to teach you two things. Love is going to teach you two things. Love is going to teach you to awake to yourself. It's going to teach you to wake up. Wake up, doggone it. It's time for you to wake up. Wake up. It's time for you to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What does that mean? Come to the realization that you are lovable. Wake up. You are divine. Wake up. So what is love going to teach you? If you're in a really loving relationship, it's going to teach you to wake up. It's going to teach you to wake up to yourself. Do you know that's the only real need to be fulfilled in time? What's the only real need? What's the only real need? What's the only real need? And I see every one of your comments and I love, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you, mighty companions, all of you for coming together to join on the idea of love and peace and waking up together. The Course in Miracles says you have only one real need. You have only one real need. You have only one need. Only one need. 
you have only one need. You may think you have a lot of needs, but you have only one need. You have only one need to awaken to who you really are and to wake up to who I really am. You need to wake up. You need to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Freedom from the world, salvation from the world lies only in remembering who you are. Salvation from the world lies only in waking up to who I really am and waking up to who you really are. That's the only need you really have. If you satisfy that one need, if you have that one need met, if you wake up to who you really are and wake up to who I really am and who others are, your equals, that is what will free you from all of the strife and fear and unhappiness and danger in the world. There's been many times that you probably said, just like I have, how can I be peaceful here? How can I have safety here? How can I have love here? How can I be here and not be afraid or suspicious? How can I do that? How can I have total love here? Well, love is trying to give you the answer. You need to wake up. You need to, you need to wake up more than you need money. You need to wake up more than you need a special relationship. You need to wake up more than you need power at the worldly level. You need to wake up more than you need physical pleasure. You need to wake up more than you need physical pleasure. You need to wake up more than you need to have money. You need to wake up more than you need to have ego power. You need to wake up more than you need to have fame and specialness and you need to wake up more than you need to have physical pleasure you need to wake up that's what you need to do my peace i give to you i give you my peace my peace i give you i give you my peace peace i give you peace i give you peace i give you peace and the Course in Miracles says, peace means total fulfillment. Peace means total fulfillment. Peace means total fulfillment. So, I give you total fulfillment. You give me total fulfillment. I give myself total fulfillment. You give yourself total fulfillment. My peace I give to you. My peace I give to you. My love I give to you. My peace I give to you. I give you peace, I give you love, I give you peace, I give you love. So, I need you to take peace of me. Take, take peace of me in glad exchange for all the world has offered but to take away. So, Jesus is saying, you give me everything the world has offered you just to take it away. Give, give me everything that you are seeking that could be taken away, that you could lose. That's what love is saying. That's what Jesus of the Course is saying. Give me everything that you could lose. If you think you could lose your mate, give your mate to spirit. If you think you could use your, lose your money, give your money to spirit. If you think you could lose your house, give, give God your house. Give everything that you think you could lose to spirit, to God, to Jesus, to life. Because the world just gives you things and then takes it away. So anything that you can lose, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up to God, give it up to God. Anything that you could lose, if you think you could lose your life, then give your life to God. 
you think you could lose your job, then give your job to God. The Course in Miracles says right here, take it of me, take peace of me in glad exchange for all the world has offered but to take away. So everything that you could lose, everything that you are afraid of losing, the first thing that you want to do is ex exchange it. Exchange it for peace. Because when you give your cares, your worries, your anxieties, everything that you think you could lose, if you give it to God, if you give it to love, if you give it to spirit, you're going to have peace. It, that's, that's, the, that's the deal. You give God every worry, every concern, everything, your life, everything in your life, and in exchange, you will receive peace. Now, I'm going to think about it. If everything that you are afraid of losing, you've given it to God, and you really believe you've given it to God, then it is going to make you feel peaceful because you know you are going to be given peace because that's the promise that if you give it to spirit then you will be given peace and so then the course of miracle says well i'm going to tell you what's going to happen when you are given peace okay you're going to give me a pretend i'm spirit you're going to give me everything that you're afraid of losing and in exchange i'm going to give you peace and then we're going to take that peace, that peace you have and that peace I have. We're going to take our peace and we're going to spread it like a veil of light. Okay, so I had this image in my, in my mind of a, a slice of bread and you're spreading peace on it the way you would spread butter on bread. But in this case, you are spreading peace. You're spreading peace like a veil of light now. You're spreading peace, you're spreading peace like a veil of light across the world's sad face. The world has a very sad face. The world has a very sad face. You need to put a veil, a veil on the world's very sad face. Put a veil, are you talking about wearing a mask? Well, you're going to wear a mask of peace. You're going to wear a mask of peace. You're going to wear a mask of peace. You're going to wear a mask, but a mask of peace. That's mop for short. It's time to mop things up. It's time to mop things up. It's time to mop things up. Mop that fear up. Mop that guilt up. It's time to mop things up. It's time to mop things up. It's time to mop things up. Mop that anger up. Mop that lack up. Mop that weary up. Mop that separation up. Mop, 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 mop. It's time to mop. Time to wear the mask of peace. That's the mop. The mask of peace. It's time to wear the mask of peace. It's time to mop things up. Let's spread the peace across the world's sad face. Let's spread some peace across the world's sad face. Let's mail some peace across the world's sad face. Let's mail. Let's 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 spread some peace and mail some peace. We're gonna do mail in voting. Stop hiding. I'm going to stop hiding myself from you behind my sad face. Would you stop hiding yourself behind your sad face? Would you stop hiding yourself? You're hiding behind your angry face. Stop hiding. Stop hiding behind your unforgiving face. Stop hiding. Stop hiding behind your body's face. We can't sing. 
redemption's hymn alone. We can't sing the song of love and peace alone. My task is not completed. My task is not completed. My task is not completed until I lift every voice with mine. My job is not completed. My job is not completed. My job is not completed until I have lifted every voice with mine. Your job is not completed until you have lifted every voice with yours. You have to lift every voice with yours. You have to lift every voice with yours. You haven't done your job. You haven't fulfilled your function until you are lifting up those around you. You got to lift up those around you if you're not lifting up those around you if you're not lifting up those around you if you're not lifting up those around you you're not doing your task what is your task you may ask what is your task you may ask your task is to wake up to who you really are and to wake up to who all of your equals really are I am not going to analyze A Course in Miracles. My classes are dedicated to people who want to hear it. You don't have to believe it. I'm here to help it be heard. And there are some people that will hear it through me. Everybody won't, everybody won't. Like if you can't stand me <laughs> and you don't want to hear nothing I got to say, it's probably you're not my student or my teacher right now, okay? I'm talking to those who want to love me, and I'm talking to those who love me. I'm talking to those who want to love me, and those who love me. That's who I'm here to teach, and nobody else. I'm here to teach those who love me, and those who want to love me, because I want to love you. I either want to love you, or I want to, love to, love, I want, to want to love you. Even if I can't stand you, I want to love you. Even if you make me sick, I want to love you. I want to love you. And I want to work with people who want to love me and who love me, okay? So the chorus says, we cannot sing redemption's hymn alone. My task is not completed until I have lifted every voice with mine, until I have lifted every voice with mine. And yet this voice is not mine. The voice of love just doesn't belong to me only. For the, for, for the voice of love, love is my gift to you. Love just doesn't only belong to me. It's gonna be my gift to you. Freedom doesn't just belong to me. It is my gift to you. And I promise that if you're in a relationship with me, I'm going to choose for your freedom. I'm going to give you freedom because I have received freedom, so I'm going to give you freedom. So anyone that really loves you, they're going to honor the fact that you are free. So they're going to support your freedom someone that really loves you they are not going to try to limit you now if you choose to be limited if you choose some limitations or if you choose some structure and you choose some agreements if you choose to just focus in on one person or whatever you choose to do if you are choosing it you are free to be free is to have the freedom of choice to be free means you have the freedom of choice do you know the Course in Miracles says the one remaining freedom that we have in this world, that the one remaining freedom that we have in this world is the power of decision. The power of decisions. That, that's pod. Power of decision. We have to be in a pod. We have to use the pod. Power of decision. And the mop. You know what I'm saying? We have to be masters of peace.
God gave you the gift of peace. God gave me peace and I'm going to give you peace. My creator gave me peace, so I'm going to give you peace. And you're going to receive from God, but you receive from God through the spirit of God. So you experience, you You receive love through the spirit of love. You can't receive love through the spirit of fear. The Course is only talking about love or fear. The, love is, the Course in Miracles is only talking about love and fear. The Course in Miracles is trying to teach you the difference between real love and fear. A Course in Miracles is teaching you the difference between what's love and what is not love. The Course in Miracles is teaching you the difference between love and what's not love. The purpose of the Course in Miracles is to teach you the difference between love and fear. The purpose of the Course in Miracles is to teach you the difference between love and guilt. Some people are just in guilt and they're calling it love. Some people only feel guilt and they're calling it love. Some people are with other people and they're only feeling guilt but they're calling it love. Some people are in relationships where they only feel anger, but they're calling it love. The Course in Miracles teaches you the difference between love and anger. The Course in Miracles teaches you the difference, the difference between love and fear. The Course in Miracles teaches you the difference, teaches you the difference between freedom and bondage. The premise it says in the text is that you don't know the difference between the two. The Course in Miracles says you wouldn't be hurt so much you wouldn't be going through so much pain and worry if you really knew the truth. If you knew the truth, you would have total peace. If you were seeing things correctly, you would have total peace. If you were seeing things correctly, you would have total peace. If you were seeing things correctly, you would have total peace. If you were seeing that person correctly, you would have total peace. If you were seeing that person correctly, you would have total peace. If you were seeing that situation correctly, you would have total peace about that situation. If you don't have total peace, you're not seeing correctly. If you don't have total peace, you're not seeing correctly. Seeing correctly brings total peace. The Course in Miracles is trying to teach you how to tell when you're in a loving situation, a free situation, a real situation, and when you're just fooling yourself again. Why do you think your patterns continue? It's because you're doing the same thing over and over again, but you don't realize it. That's all. The Course in Miracles says that if you were healed of any situation, you would only need to be healed one time because if you were really healed, what would there be in the, why, why would there be something else that you needed to be, uh, some other way that you would need to be healed the very next week? If, if I'm completely over my cold for real, then I don't have to take any medicine next week and week after that. So listen to me. If you're angry and fearful and upset and scared right now, if you're angry and fearful and upset and scared and suspicious right now, you don't have to believe what I'm about to tell you, but I'm going to tell you what the Course in Miracles says about you. You are calling for love, you're calling for love, you're calling for love and you're not seeing correctly right now. You're not seeing anything correctly right now. You think you're on your own. You're trying to handle things yourself. You're trusting in your own strength, separate from the strength of God. If you feel the guilt right now, you're telling yourself a lie right now. If you're feeling guilt right now, you're telling yourself a lie right now. Because your real nature, your true nature is guiltless and sinless and innocent. Your true nature is guiltless and sinless and innocent. If you're not seeing that about yourself, it means you have some thoughts that are incorrect that need to be healed. And the Course in Miracles is saying to us, the sound of the peace, the sound of it will banish sorrow from the minds of God's most holy son, where sorrow cannot live. Do you know that in your real mind, in your true mind, in your God mind, in your divine mind, peace cannot live? 
conflict cannot even live in your true mind. In your real mind, a thought of lack could not even live in your true mind, in your real mind. So what do you need? Healing in time is needed. That's what it says in paragraph 17, chapter 13, section 7, paragraph 17. It says, healing in time. So you are in time. You are in time right now. So what do you need? What do you need? Healing. Healing is what you need. So what is the Course in Miracles definition of healing? It's What is the Course in Miracles? Say, I've been studying A Course in Miracles and teaching it for 40 years. And what I found in working with thousands of students over the decades is that a lot of Course in Miracles students don't actually read or study the Course in Miracles on a regular basis. A lot of Course in Miracles students, just between us, don't do the workbook. They don't do the daily exercises that allow you to make the Course work and be real in your life. There are some Course in Miracles students that expect to get all of the happiness and joy and benefits that the Course promises without doing anything, without studying it, without reading it, without applying it, without remembering it. And they spend all their time analyzing it, which the, which the Course in Miracles says destroys the meaning of the freaking book. So if you're not studying the Course in Miracles on a regular basis and you're not doing the workbook lessons on a regular basis and if you believe and if you're thinking you have to believe it and accept it and welcome it right at the very beginning then you're not learning the Course in Miracles the way the Course in Miracles says you should learn it. First thing you have to do is hear it. And that's my job, to help you hear it and remember it. That's why, that's why I'm trying to bring it to life and, 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 and let the spirit come through me so that it's just not words on a page. And here's the other thing I want to tell you. The Course in Miracles is not for everyone. The truth is for everyone, but the Course in Miracles may not be for everyone. This is a very specific curriculum that was made specifically for the people who love it and want it. That's, that's how, you know, that's how specialized it is. The Course in Miracles is only for the people who want to learn it. The Course in Miracles as a curriculum is for the people who want to learn a course in miracles those are the people that the course in miracles is speaking to so healing is needed and the course in miracles teaches that to heal means to undo fear so to heal means to undo fear to undo guilt so when the course says it's time for you to be healed it means it's time for you to have your guilt undone. It's time for you to have your guilt undone. It's time for you to have your guilt undone. It's time for you to have your lack undone. It's time for you to have any lack in your life undone. Healing in time is needed because joy cannot establish Okay, so what is it that Joy wants to do? Pretend that Joy is a person, okay? And the Course says, what does Joy want to do? Well, Joy wants to establish its eternal reign. In other words, 
Joy wants to be in your life forever. Joy is a living force. Joy is another substitute word for love. Love is joy. So you're not expressing love where you are full of sorrow and pain and guilt and anger. Joy and love are the same thing. Fear and anger are the same thing. Fear and separation are the same thing. Fear and sickness are the same thing. Got it? So, joy wants to come into your life. But where joy wants to come is wherever your sorrow dwells. So wherever you are sad, that's where joy wants to establish itself in your life. So tell me where you're sad and I'll tell you where joy wants to be. I'll tell you where joy wants to be. Now remember, I'm not concerned with how much I cover. Remember, it's about hearing at least one idea that you remember that you want to use. Okay? It's about the repetition. A Course in Miracles, there's not a place in the Course in Miracles where it says, analyze this. There is not a place in the Course in Miracles where it says, analyze me. And I refuse to do it. I can answer questions provided you don't think you already know the answer and just looking for me to validate the answer you've already come up with because the Course in Miracles says that's not an honest question. Asking a question, having some idea of what you think the answer is, the Course says is not a, it's not a real question. The Course in Miracles teaches that a real question is asking to know something that you really don't know, that you don't have any preconceived answer that you are addicted to or attached to. So I don't mind answering those kind of questions. All right. Uh, in other words, if a person was to say to me, Earl, where does the cause want you to be joyful? Well, wherever your sorrow is. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you dwell not here. You don't you don't really live here in this temporary world. You don't really live in sorrow. You don't really live in sorrow. The Course in Miracles says, you dwell not here, you dwell in eternity. I'm going to say that again. You live in eternity. What does that mean? It means that who you really are never dies. Who you really are never dies. Who you really are never dies. What 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 you truly are never dies. So you live in eternity. You may not remember all of your existences. You may not remember your past. You may not remember you have always existed, but you do. Just because you don't remember, just because an amnesia victim doesn't remember where their house is doesn't mean their house doesn't exist and their house isn't there. Just because you don't remember where you left your keys does not mean that your keys no longer exist and that your keys don't exist and, 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 and that your keys aren't where they are. So I'm going to say this to you. Just because you don't believe something doesn't mean it isn't true. Just because you don't believe something doesn't mean it isn't true. Just because you don't accept something doesn't mean it isn't true. Just because you don't understand something doesn't mean you can't benefit from it. Listen to me. You live in eternity. You travel but in dreams while safe at home. You only are traveling in a dream. You're in a dream while you're safe at home. Just like last night when you were safe at home and you had a dream, that's exactly what's happening right now. This is a dream team. This is a dream, my team. This is a dream, my team. This is a dream. 
You travel but in dreams, while safe at home. You are safe with God. You are safe at home. Just like when you have a dream at night, you're laying in the bed, but you could have a dream you were in Paris. But you're really safe at home. You could have a dream that you were on a battlefield with guns blazing all around you, but you would still be at home in your bed. Listen to what the Course in Miracles is saying. That's exactly what's happening right now. You're in a dream, but you are safe at home in love. So give thanks, give thanks to every part of you that you have taught. Give thanks to every part of you. I give thanks. So what does that mean to give thanks to every part of you? Well, you are part of me according to the course. You are part of me. You are part of me. I am part of you. According to the course, we are all one self. You are part of me, I am part of you, so I am giving thanks to you. Because the Course in Miracles told me, give thanks to every part of you that you have taught to remember you. See, I have been teaching you to remember me. I've been teaching you to remember me, to remember that I am spirit, that I am you, that I am love, that I am your brother. I've been, I have been, through the course, teaching you how to remember me because you are part of me and I am a part of you. So my remembering the truth is actually your remembering the truth because we are one. We don't look like it. We may not sound like it. And we most certainly don't act like it. <laughs> but we are one. So, by giving thanks to you, I'm giving thanks to my Father, Mother, God. By giving thanks to you, I'm giving thanks to God. And what is it we're supposed to thank God for? What is it that we're supposed to thank our Creator for? What is it we're supposed to be thanking, thanking Jesus, Spirit, life for? For your perfect purity. Thank God. Thank God, thank love for your innocence. Thank love for your innocence. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a, one final little recap little, in just a minute. My, if you, if you feel moved to share a financial expression of appreciation, for this, my teaching, the course, this is what I do in the world. This is it. If you're moved by God and you like to make a donation, go to my website, www.earlpurdy.com. Earlpurdy.com. You can also use my email address for Venmo and other such apps. My email address is earlpurdy at earlpurdy.com. Earlpurdy at earlpurdy.com. If you want a one-on-one -on -one personal clarity session with me so that you can get past some blocks and have the kind of love and peace that the course is talking about, then have a clarity session with me. Go to my website and look under the Clarity Session tab. It explains my sessions in detail. And you can self-book an appointment with me right there online. Those of you who are open-minded, open-minded to astrology and numerology. I have been a professional astrologer and numerologist also for over 40 years. I specialize in soul purpose soul purpose sessions where you where you where you can answer that question we're going to answer that question why why am i here just like the course is saying wait to wake up who you are to who you are okay well through your chart i can give you a lot of insight into who you are and what the benefits of you are 
and how you can have an easier path. Just like the course, it's all one thing. Thursday nights, I do a hardcore Course in Miracles class, especially for Course in Miracles students who are studying A Course in Miracles. That's at 7 p.m. on Facebook Live on the Earl Purdy page, Mountain Time. And of course, we got our one o'clock class, Mountain Time, every Sunday. So good to be here with you or on the Earl Purdy page. Follow my page, share this video. And listen to this or watch this at least four times because it's remembering that makes the difference. Okay, now close your eyes if you can and just receive this. We cannot sing the song of love. We cannot sing the song of love alone. The Holy Spirit is teaching you. Love is teaching you. The Holy Spirit is teaching you. Your inner teacher is teaching you. Your inner teacher is teaching you. God is teaching you to awaken, to awaken unto us and to awaken unto yourself. Come to recognize you're not a body. You are free. You're not a body. You are free. You are not a body. 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 You have a body. You are not a body. You have a body. You are not a body. You have a body. You are not a body. You have a body. Your body is for the is for communication and joining minds and hearts. You only have one need, that's to wake up to who you really are. I'm gonna give you my peace. Spirit said, take my peace in exchange for everything that this world offers you just to take it back. So whatever it is you think you can lose, whatever it is you are afraid to lose, whatever that thing is, whatever that whoever that person is, then you want to ex give them to God. Give them to spirit so that you can have peace. Give everybody you worry about, everything you're concerned about. Give it to love. Give it to God so that you can have peace. And then... We're going to spread that peace like the, like butter, like butter, like butter, like butter across bread. We're going to spread that peace across the face of the world. Let's spread that peace that we exchanged for our worries. We're going to take that peace and spread it across the world's sad face, across the world's sad face. Do you know you're hiding your true self behind your sad face? Do you know you're hiding your loving self behind your angry face? Do you know you're hiding, stop hiding, stop hiding your real cool self behind that crazy self? The crazy self is not you. Your crazy self is not you. That crazy, that crazy cray cray that comes out sometimes, that's not really you. So we lifted each other today. Joy wants to rule in your life forever. Joy wants to be eternal in your life. Happiness wants to be eternal in your life. Fun wants to be eternal. Fun wants to last forever in your life. Joy wants to last forever in your life. Peace wants to last forever in your life. Abundance, 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 abundance wants to last forever in your life. Health, 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 health wants to last forever in your life. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom wants to last forever in your life. Mighty Companions, you are such a blessing, Mighty Companion. I'm so thankful for you, and uh, I love you, and I check out all your comments, and you all, I'm telling you, I appreciate so much the comments that you make. It's so good. So listen to this, because that's what I do. Uh, I listen to this, I watch, I, I, after I go off the air, I, I listen because I know that I'm teaching what I need to learn. And so I know that whatever comes through me, 
during my presentations, that lesson is especially for me. So I get a chance to listen back. I love you, love you, love you. And may the course be with you.